Hello musicians, welcome back. My name is Bucky Dirtle, and I'm doing another video tutorial today on VCV Rack, which is the open source modular synthesis DAW. Now I'm doing a um, I'm doing a tutorial today on three modules, which which are combined to create a, a, a system. Uh, the three modules are by CF Modules, and it's Stereo, Mono, and Master. So let's get started. Now you'll notice uh, I've changed format a little bit here today where I don't have the modules up here because I want to show you how we build this from the start. I, I'll tell you what I do have here because we're going to use these things. I have my audio interface which is uh, right here as you can see. Uh, I also have an LFO and a VCA which are both fundamentals. Uh, these are set aside. We'll sh I'll show you the, what we're going to use those for a little later. I have three separate types of um, oscillators. I have uh, Fundamentals VCO1. I have uh, Sonus um, Unusual Oscillator. I think this one's called Un Unusual Oscillator. I have, actually have a tutorial on this one so you can check it out. I also have um, AS Modules Tiny Sawish and I think I have a tutorial on that one from a while back as well. All this pretty basic. These This one is pretty basic oscillator. Um, now let's get started. First of all, there are there are different types of um, there are different types of mixers that we can use in um, in um, uh, VCV rack. This is one. This is AS their mixer. We also have a very si simple one by Fundamentals that you see me use often, uh, which is this guy right here. A uh, very simple mixer. These mixers all have a certain purpose, and they they allow us to do certain things. Uh, they're contained, uh, they do a job, and they do it well. So, and that's basically it. But some, but the idea of a modular synthesis uh, setup is that you you with the modules you create something unique. You create something that fits your needs. So, CF modules has created some components that we can use to build our own mixer. So let's have a look. I'm going to go to CF modules, which is right here, and I'm going to choose three different modules just to start with. I'm going to choose master. I'll put this guy over here. I'm next going to choose mono. I'm going to just put that guy right here, and I'm going to choose stereo. Now stereo I'm just bringing up to show you. We're not actually going to use stereo, but I just want to show you stereo. Okay, so these are the three modules that we use. <clears throat> And these can be used in coordination with other modules, but I'm going to go over the functionality of these modules and how it's actually set up in here in VCV Rack. Okay, so you'll notice that uh, I'm going to put master aside for a second. You'll notice the stereo and mono are pretty much the same. They have a very similar layout. Um, the difference between the two is that stereo has two inputs. You mean here? You can see it's a left and a right input right here, uh, and it has a stereo output. Okay, so left and right outputs as well, right here. But beyond that, it's this, it's pretty much the same module. So we're going to actually be using mono, the mono module for our setup today. So I'll just set aside stereo. I'll put it over here, just out of the way. And we're going to focus on the mono module. Now I'm going to duplicate this module. I'm going to I want three of these, so I'm going to duplicate it. And you can do that by right clicking on the module and just clicking duplicate and then you have th three of the same modules. If you happen to have settings done in these modules, it will duplicate the settings as well. So that's going to be convenient uh, rather than have to reset everything. Now, <clears throat> let's start with master. I, I like to start from the end of our uh, sound flow, our signal flow, and work toward the beginning. So let's start at the end. We're going to connect our audio interface to our master. Now, if you think about uh, this as a master slider on a, on a mixing console, uh, that may be a good way to think about it. And we have a left and a right, um, uh, a left and a right out of our master console. So we're we're going to take a, a, a left out, and we're going to take a right out. And on our on our uh, output here, this is left and right, okay, left and right. Now I'm just using the standard out on my computer here. If you are using, I have an Mbox Pro. Mbox Pro has many outs. Uh, you can choose it. Up to, up to eight here, and there are other modules that allow you other things. But but uh, I'm having I have uh, uh, 
I can choose a number of outs and it will give me different sounds, my outs and my ins here. But but this here is just giving us uh, our, our, uh, our two outs, our left and right channels for our computer. Now, so I'm going to set this aside and we're going to come back to this in a few minutes. Next, let's take these three modules. Now we are going to have, um, we're going to use these three modules to as three inputs for our three oscillators. So <clears throat> uh, VCO1 will go to this first mono channel, this this uh, rail. I'm going to call I'm going to call this uh, a, a rail from time to time because that's sometimes what we call it in in mixer lingo. But uh, you can, we can call it a lot of things. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'll move this guy over a little bit more just to separate them. So what we'll do first of all, I'll just wire these up, and then we'll see what needs to happen next. So let's take a sine wave out of our uh, VCO one and go into that guy. Let's take our wave one out and go into that guy. And let's take our output from this tiny size and go into that guy. So now the signal from these three oscillators are going into here. And we can see that we actually have uh, some gain level here. And if I disconnect this, you can see the gain goes away you know, on our little meter here. And we'll talk more about the interface in a few minutes after we get this wired up. <clears throat> now, in a mixer, we have the ability to um, uh, pan things left and right, change the balance, balance, I mean balance and pan left and right, and we can do that. You can see the pan on each of these. We'll talk about that in a minute. We also have the ability to change the volume levels up and down. On mixers, we also have the ability to mute and solo and, and things like that. So we can mute and solo different rails, different channels, different tracks, different channels. So if your guitar is on channel one, you can make the guitar you only hear the guitar. Or if the voice is on channel three, you can you can mute the other channels and hear only only number three, you hear only your voice, or or whatever you want. You can mute and you can solo. So if you hit solo, that means you're only hearing that channel, that rail. So um, we have the same ability here. We can solo. We have solo here like this. But and these are on each of these ones, of course, because it's the same module. But we need to be able to have these modules um, communicate with each other so each one knows what each other is doing, and just like a mixer would be connected, and it would know how each rail is doing in the mixer. Now, the way we do this is we have a little communication connection we can use between these modules. It's solo link, SL. You see this right here? SL, each one has it. So when I connect this guy to this guy, now these two guys are communicating. Well, at least this guy is, is communicating out to this fella. So the first one, VCO1, this is sending signal, this is information over to this guy. Not, this, not the signal itself, not the audio signal, this is information connecting to the next one. And then this guy here is the information connecting to the next guy. So now they're connected. And the last guy connects back to the first guy. So now these three modules are fully connected. So now if I hit solo here, the other ones know what it's doing and vice versa. And you can see what's happening you can see things happen on the modules as I click. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm clicking the wrong thing. So you can see when I click solo here, solo, look the gain on both of these, the level on both of these go off. If I click this guy, now look at that. You see? So it's linked. So the solo will now be able to turn on off. Now I'm going to demonstrate that in a few minutes, but we're not going to get to that yet. So I want to go through a little functionality, and then we'll do some demonstrations in a few minutes. Now, we also want to be able to connect these together with audio. Now, this is where I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about panning. Now, in, in audio lingo, panning means balance, left and right. Okay, so we pan to the right means that your, the sound will be placed in the right ear. Pan to the left, it's, it's the left ear. So, so we see pan all the time. And we don't see balance, we see pan. You can see it right here. So... But this is a mono signal. We know that VCO1 is outputting mono. It doesn't have a left and right. It's just center. It's a, it's a single channel signal. So what this does here is it allows us to take that sing, sing, uh, single channel signal and move it to the left ear or to the right ear, depending where we want it. So I can pan to the left or the right. I can do the same for each of these. I can pan each of these to the left or right wherever I want them to be. Um, and the same with this guy. So, and what that does is it, it, will take the it will take the signal 
the mono signal that's going into this module and it will then it will output something that's appropriate for left and right for stereo okay so now let's let's I'm gonna tighten up my tension on my cables a little bit just get these up out of the way here now you see we have these guys here they're not marked but this is inputs and outputs so what we want to have happen is we want the output from this guy to go to the next module so we just pull this over and this connects our left and right outputs from this module to this module that's passing through and then we want the same thing to happen here this one to chain over to this guy and it passes it through so now right here on these these inputs right here we have the first module signal the second module signal all combined together and going up to the third module signal and then what we do with the third module is we then output to our master oh, and there you go we've got some sound let me turn my gain down here on the mix on the master because it's going to get too noisy and uh, let's pull our last one over and now now we would have sound going from all three a combined signal summed all out to the master now all three of these are panned to the center so if I turn on my master now you'll hear all three are in the center okay but let's take one of these and move it to the right now you can probably hear I hope you can I hope you're listening in stereo you can hear that things are moving around you can hear that the signals are moving from left and right you hear now everything's in the right channel and you can right click on the pan and it will take everything back to the default if there was was in the middle or I can pan it around this way like that now if I solo any one of these you can hear the tiny saw right here this module that's being soloed turn it off turn this guy on you can hear the this um, unusual oscillator by Sonus or Oscillum uh, here uh, that's you're just hearing that one and you can hear the fundamentals VCO1 or all together now you can also adjust the gain and stuff too now but let's go back for a second now I'm gonna turn my volume down now I want to now that you've seen it all function now I want to just do a review slash interface okay I want to go over the interface and I'm going to review what we've done so let's take one of these modules so let's start at the top at the top here you see S and L and S and L is this is a solo link and you saw that we linked out the out link goes to the next one and you have three here we can have 50 it doesn't matter but you have to link them all together and then the last one has to be linked back to the beginning so that's what SL is and then the next level down these two uh, here are input left and right and this is output left and right and you can see if we go to the second module this is the input from the first module the first rail um, inputting left and right and this is outputting left and right okay and don't don't mix these over let, like cross them because then your your pan will reverse itself left will be right and right will be left okay that's that and then we have pan which you saw now again pan means balance it means balance it's a uh, it's it's the left and the right so but we use pan as a term solo again you saw it will turn on only that module only that rail now on and off is another thing we haven't spoken about now in a normal mixer we would have um, a mute this functions as a mute you see we can turn on and off turn on and off each one or we'll turn them off this it functions as a mute uh, I'm not sure why they didn't just call it mute because that will be the same function you know and that's the industry standard as we would say mute and solo rather than on and solo but anyway that functions as a mute now the next thing here uh, and this is something new is our gain now our gain here um, is you know you can refer to as the volume level of our signal that we have on that module um, one little bit of uh, advice to you is be careful that when you go to the very top you don't get a red you don't want to clip it because that was going over 10 volts when you hit the top there you're over 10 volts and you are going to be clipping and you don't want that it's going to give you some distortion so uh, so try to avoid hitting the top here on your um, on any of these modules if you see it pull yourself back because you're going to be distorting okay and then now we have an in here we also have an out now this can be a direct out this is a direct out of our module so rather than the, the outs were going here which up at the top which connect to the next rail 
the next module and then to the master this is a direct out so you can take it like just take it out off of this to go to some other unit uh, some other module so it bypasses the entire um, setup it just takes a clean out okay now each one of these each one of these um, uh, pan solo and on and gain all have control voltage uh, we can control with and that's why I have these the LFO and the VCA hooked up here and you'll notice when I when I hook up my um, LFO and VCA to the gain you can see the dial change actually this is something I really like on this one and I don't see this enough on modules I would love to see more of this but this is the um, uh, the gain, the knob actually visually shows us what's going on um, with the dial uh, versus us having to hear it only. Uh, that's a really nice thing. So if I turn my volume a little bit, you'll hear, uh, I don't even know if you need to hear this, but you can hear that, you know, the VCA, VCO1, which is down here on the first channel, this is now being, the gain is being controlled by the LFO. Okay, so if I haul that out of there and I go up to pan, you can hear, actually, let me just turn off these other two, and you can hear the, let's turn this up a little bit. Now you can hear the, let me turn it bidirectional. No, well, maybe you need to be better for this. Now you can see this, it's it's oscillating back and forth, the pan is, and it's, it's doing, it's making our left and right change. And you can see right across, all the lights on all the left and rights are alternating because it is panning back and forth between left and right. Interesting little effect, and it's nice to be able to see that, as I said earlier. Um, now let me turn this down, and let me turn my volume back down again. So, so the the control voltage can be used to control those things, and solo can also be used to can, can be controlled by a gate or trigger, as well. So you can do that as well, and the on and off can be gate or trigger. So you can uh, you can use that when you need to as well. So um, so now that is. The, all of that works fine. All of that is exactly as we said. If we want to apply this to stereo, all, the only difference is that instead of a mono input like we are here, we'd have a stereo input, and we would be um, and uh, we'd have a clean stereo out as well. But, but we'd also be able to um, when we transfer these over, uh, like these guys, we will be transferring over left and right. That's the same as it is on all the modules. It's just that the input and output down in the bottom is clean input and clean output is stereo. So that is basically it. Now you can use this to make a gigantic mixer for yourself. Very, very cool. I think this is an excellent module. Uh, I love this because it never fails that every mixer I try to use, I end up saying, uh, if it could only do this, if it could only do that, if I only had more rails, if I only had more channels, I'd be a lot happier person. Well, this is an opportunity here now that you can build the mixer that you need to build. And what I would recommend you do is you, you create a file for yourself. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll provide one here. That will be a maybe 16 channel mixer that will use monos and stereos. And you'll be able to uh, build, uh, you can have a like a default mixer that you can just start using and use whenever you want. You just have it saved as a file. So you, I'll, I'll actually, what I'll do is I'll save this in, into my um, into this document uh, into this post and you guys can check it out and uh, use it if you need it okay so there you go if you guys have any questions about uh, any of this please put your questions in the comments of this post you can also get me on the utopian.io discord I'd love to hear about your music how you use this any questions or concerns you have about any of this technology I'd love to hear from you so thank you very very much for watching I really appreciate your time and I will see you next time